What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Right now we're in beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee. Made a pit stop here overnight on the way back to Ohio to see our family for Christmas. By the way, I'm dropping this on Christmas, so Merry freaking Christmas. Merry Christmas guys, hope you have an amazing day today with your friends and your family and people you love. Check it out. So we exchanged some Christmas gifts a little early and we both got each other new kicks. So this is what she got me, these fresh Pumas. Now I don't see a lot of people wearing Pumas, me either. Though I freaking love Puma shoes and I got her these Nike ones. I don't know what these are called But I think these are pretty slick as well We're that one couple that likes to open up at least one gift a couple days before Christmas Anyways, we're at the country in a suite right now and dude, this is the most comfortable bed we've ever slept on Babe, come here. Isn't this the most comfortable bed we've ever slept on? Country in and suites guys don't sleep on it because this bed was amazing I keep finding myself in these dark rooms and i don't know how to get out now that i'm not with you no. all right guys so if you follow our channel then you might know that our lease in atlanta ends in the summer and we're thinking about moving out and going somewhere else after three years and the one place that we like a lot is well basically the whole state of Tennessee, Nashville, Chattanooga, Knoxville. This is our first time in Knoxville. So you already know we got to go in right there and tour an apartment. Right now we're on the beautiful Tennessee River behind us with the beautiful skyline view of Knoxville right there. So I'm pretty excited to check this one out. Let's go see how it is. I'll take a quick minute and run through this. So this apartment complex is called South Bank Apartments at Sutri Landing. And it's right there on the Tennessee River, like I mentioned. This place is actually still under construction for all the amenities. As you can see there, the pool and the club room and the gym is still under the construction. But check out this unit really quick. It's 750 square feet. It's a little cheaper than what we pay in Atlanta right now. Uh, about 1750, 1800 it's going for. And I think just overall Knoxville is, is a sleeper of a city. It's, it's a dope, mid-size, uh, it's just relaxed and slow-paced vibe. It seems like outside of football game day when University of Tennessee plays, then I've heard the city just gets turned upside down, which sounds pretty cool. It's something that we're considering. I think we definitely would need to spend a whole weekend in Knoxville to fully judge, but it's it's right there near the Smoky Mountains, the hiking and the scenery and the mountains overall are just so beautiful, which is something that intrigues us and piques our interest given that we've lived in the city for the last uh, almost three years in my case so here's the view here from the balcony uh really nice overall again we would have to come back but knoxville could be a move it really could be a move we uh we like it a lot for sure why'd you have to leave me heartless baby you're my biggest problem even when the silver i do not start and then it's early in the morning baby it's still better than you why'd you have to leave me heartless All right, guys, back at my parents' crib in Cleveland, Ohio for a couple days. And is it just me or is anyone else wrap their presents literally last minute? Like, it's we're, we're two days before Christmas right now, and I'm just getting to wrap all my presents. Let me show you what I got. Uh, first of all, let's start with uh, my dad. Because my dad is one of those dudes that, and I assume a lot of dads are this way, my dad will not buy a pair of shoes or a piece of clothing for his life. He just won't do it. I've literally seen my dad duct tape together shoes before buying a new pair as they were falling apart. So every single year for Christmas, I get him a new pair of kicks. He loves Under Armour and these are really freaking comfy. So he gonna like these. First time looking at this that I got from my mom. Ordered this customized to see how it turned out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This, yeah, she gonna like this. This is what I got from my mom. I actually saw it on TikTok. So I was scrolling TikTok and I saw an advertisement for it. Clicked on the advertisement, took me to the page and I checked it out, looked pretty cool. So I was like, what the heck? And I got it. This is a 24 by 12 inch canvas of me and my two sisters. So my mom's three kids with each of our names and each of our birth dates on the street signs. So I was born on March 30, 1999. Dana was born on January 10 of 2003. And my youngest sister, Emily, was born on August 2nd of 2007. 
we're all four years apart. I think eventually I will buy a border or a frame for this, but for now it seems like pretty good quality. So I recommend it's from this website called Zimeo, Z-I-M-E-O. So check it out, look through it. They they have a bunch of cool stuff on there. Say hi, say hi. 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 Say hi, I'm Delina. Say hi, I'm Delina. There you go. Alright guys, so I've been keeping a little secret from you. Um, meet Delina. Uh, she is my daughter and she is a year and a half now. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've kind of wanted to keep it off YouTube in, in, until yeah. now. But uh, I think it's about time to introduce you to Delina. She is my amazing daughter okay. and I love her so much. Just kidding. She is my cousin's kid. But I, I think one of the reasons I love doing YouTube and vlogging my life over the years is seeing people grow up. So right now she's a year, but you know, you know girl, in 10 years, you'll be 10 years old. And yeah, we'll be kicking the soccer ball around. I'm gonna turn this girl into the best soccer player of all time. Oh, you good? You good? Alright guys, Christmas Eve, and I gotta say, this is probably the least Christmassy Christmas Eve ever. And that's because we're in Cleveland, Ohio, it gets usually gets cold as crap here all the time. Right now it's 50, 55 degrees, it's sunny out, not a drop of snow on the ground. Like, what is going on? Like, where's the snow for Christmas? It always comes by now, at least. I don't know. I've, I've never been into global warming, but I don't know. This might confirm that it's just... You really gotta try hard nowadays to get into the Christmas spirit, I think, especially as an adult. But, you know, last night we went to see uh, A Christmas Carol downtown at Playhouse Square. And that's something we've done every, most years since I was a kid growing up. So I always like doing that with my family. Gets us into the Christmas spirit, just like that. You said my world. So let's talk for a quick second. I think the older I get, and this is what I'm gonna say, uh, I've said on my channel before a while ago, but the older I get, the more grateful I become about everything, especially the, the small things in my life. You know, the fact that I'm sitting in a new car that I bought, you know, myself, about six months ago, I'm, I'm grateful I was able to do that. I'm grateful that I and my family have the ability to just buy presents for each other and no no shortage of money. Yeah, I'm able to I'm able to walk in this mall right here and you know not check my bank account before I, I buy something. I'm grateful for the food on the table in my house. I'm grateful for the roof over my head. I haven't asked for anything for Christmas in years, like five, six, seven years probably because I mean, what else do I need? I mean, I don't need anything. When someone asks me, hey, what do you want for Christmas? I say, I truly don't care. Whatever you want to get me, I will truly be, be grateful for and appreciate. There's nothing wrong about asking for Christmas presents, but I think having this mentality that I, that I truly do helps you get into the Christmas spirit to have an overall more positive outlook on life and you know probably be a little at least a little bit happier now if there's one place as an adult i absolutely hate going to it is the mall this place is a zoo this place is a jungle it sucks but i still need to buy something for my little sister emily she's 16 years old so i think that's like the hardest age ever to buy for like what do i even buy her and plus i heard dick's sporting goods had a sale on socks buy one get two free my dad freaking loves socks arguments about who and who I'm focused on me and you I know when the love is real But also when the love is gone Hit me out on how you feel Tell me now what's going on Again and again, yeah again and again Another born, another there's nothing a 16 year old wants more than a big wad of cash, I think. So that's what she's getting. I think I'm gonna be that dude that puts a big wad of cash just in a huge freaking box. So it seems like it's a huge gift, but you just open it and ends up being just money. So like that, what's considered as just a little bit of money to us as adults, I think seems like a million bucks to a 16 year old. So that is what we're rolling with.
Alright guys, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas once again, it's Christmas Day, do you guys open up presents Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, we always do Christmas Day and then just relax and chill and of course watch some football. I gotta head back inside to be with my family and finish editing this video because I'm dropping this video about 4 hours after I'm filming this part right now. Also, this is the last video I'm doing in 2023 guys, so the next video I drop will be January 1st of 2024. As always, I appreciate everyone who supports my channel and my journey. I can't wait to see what we accomplish in 2024 as well so in the meantime really hope you enjoy another video today another christmas special vlog today as much as i did making it. if you did make sure you drop me a thumbs up really appreciate it also subscribe to my channel if you haven't because i drop a new video every single monday that you don't want to miss as always guys work hard be nice to people i'll see you guys next monday